Hi guys and welcome to a new video. So this is the mission into the fire. So I need to say at the beginning a massive thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate you joining my channel. And thanks to all my viewers as well. This content takes a long time to create so I hope it helped you out. So that's where we need to head for this mission is towards the Empire State Building. And now we're running up the side of it and it'll go to a cutscene now where you choose which mission you want to do. The one on the left or the one on the right. So we'll have to mention at the beginning that you must manually save the game if you want to leave this mission or you will start back from this position again so you'll have to do the whole mission again if you don't manually save it because the auto save only saves before this mission starts so you'll have to do it all again from this point which I found out to my cost when I didn't save it when I thought the auto save would do the job so we're going to jump towards the mission now on the right hand side so all the time codes will be in the description. We're just going to go to the cutscene now. This isn't good. Transformers are charging the building, trapping the police inside. So you can see them coming out on the roof, just at the bottom there on the right hand side. So you must dodge them because they'll shoot you when you stood on the roof. And dodge this in incoming rocket. Rockets are being shot from the helicopter. So let's go ahead and show you the suit power we're using here, which is bulletproof, which I think is the best one for this mission. You can read that there if you want. So the suit mods are gel padding, ballistic inserts, and charged outer mesh. So those are the three suit mods I use in this mission. If you want to copy them you can do. You can apply them to any suit. So I've activated them now and I'm going to jump in here. So what I've done this first mission is it's a stealth version of this mission. So I don't take many people out other than these three on this roof. You have to take those three out because you can't destroy the one that's flying around this building without being on this flat surface here. So there's one more left. Let's take him out, take his weapon off him by pressing triangle. Just need to finish him off again. And as you can see that second one is rotating around this building. So let's take the first transformer out quite an easy one. You must keep shooting until it fully explodes. And then he shoots at me again and that rocket is coming from the helicopter that's circling around this building. So I found no matter how you do this mission you have to be on this part of the roof because it won't auto aim to the one that rotates around the building. So you have to shoot it in one go even though you get shot it's worth getting shot because as soon as you shoot it out it disappears off into the distance. Whereas if you don't complete finishing it, destroying it you'll go and circle around another building. And this was a strange thing in one of the replays. There's a glitching out uh, man over there, which is strange. What happens when you knock them off the roof? They do actually stick to the wall. The web sticks them to the wall. So this is the second, the third transformer we're going for now. So I always wait for the suit power to be ready. So that makes us bulletproof. I don't know how long for, 30 or 40 seconds. So we're going to work our way around the back of this building here. So this is now the stealth bit where we don't kill anyone or knock them out and stick them to a wall as I noticed later on in the game. So go to the back of the building, wait for your suit power to get ready again, activate it and just crawl up the wall and then crawl up this little cabin on top. You do get hit by that explosion but you can get straight to it and take it out here. And then get off the roof as fast as possible because there's at least three or four people there trying to shoot you from that roof. So move over to the next building over here. And I wouldn't stand here even though I do stand here. I'd get onto the next section and look back from there and you'll see that they are still up there. I didn't knock them out. 
As you can see they're stood up there looking down but they're not shooting me so it's safe to be this far away from that building. And that's number four just there. Don't go too far forward because there are four or five people on this roof as well and one of them is a sniper. So you can be this close to it and still be safe. Just shoot at it until it explodes. So that's number four. So just go to this roof on the side here, on the left side of that building. There we go. We have to dodge that shot because the sniper is trying to shoot us. So let's just drop down onto this lower part of the roof. We are being shot at by the sniper. But if you're careful you should be alright. The suit power is activated again. I'm just going to jump straight down into the street here. I do get shot as I'm dropping. Obviously their, their aim is perfect. And there is a red light coming at me from the sniper on the roof that we just destroyed. So I'm just trying to avoid all the shots. I haven't activated my suit power yet. So I can, I'm showing you you can still avoid all the shots. Even though there's all the laser pointers on me. So I've activated the suit power there now. And actually the electric shock got that guy as well, which is in the suit power. In the suit mod. So this is the cutscene now. So we haven't finished with this first section yet. Now we've got to deal with these guys. So this is what I'm using again. The suit power I'm going to change to electric punch, which seems to work better for groups of people. So this is a weird glitch, I don't know what went on here, but I walked over to this vehicle and virtually stood next to him and he didn't, didn't shoot me. I didn't stand still too long, but he tried to shoot me there. So I just stand here and I don't take any damage at all in this bit. And then this other guy runs towards me. Obviously the AI told me told it to run over here. So ready with the electric punch. And you don't get long, but just try and take him out as quickly as possible. Watch out for those blasts. It might take you a few attempts to do this. The electric shock arcs between them and that, that disables their defences on quite a lot of these enemies. But they just stand there and wait for you to take them on next. As you can see I'm almost out of electric punch now. I just dodged that shot from this one guy that's la left here. Let's just finish him off. Yuri, your men are safe. And we're talking to Yuri again. To the upper west side. We're trying to shelter civilians, but Rhino isn't making it easy. He never does. Well, so this way. first one is a stealth takedown. And then this mission again is also replayed at the end of the video. And that's kill everyone normally. So that's at 20 minutes and 30 seconds. All the time codes will be in the description. Now we're talking to Miles. So we've still got one more mission to do, which arguably for me was the hardest one of the two so this is it was the one looking at them on the left hand side when you're stood on top of the Empire State Building so I don't traverse over there I don't show you that bit this is just before the cutscene of the next mission on the left hand side this is the one with Rhino in So we've got to take these barricades out now. So what I noted was, noticed with this first one was, if you go along the roof, you can drop down behind this guy with the RPG, just on that corner there. All the others are just throwing petrol bombs. You don't take any damage just by jumping to the floor. So triangle to take this guy out with stealth web. I have electric punch again, and I've just activated it there and it arcs between them so they just stand there getting electrocuted which is fun it just arcs between them with enough time to take them all out about 30-40 seconds I think what I have noticed is if you do one part of these three and there is three barricades that you have to take out but if you complete one it loads you back at the next stage so that's not too bad and I'll show you in this video 
There, he, he barged me and the electric mesh killed that guy. So we get a tip that we need to do, go and sort out the next barricade. So I actually force died on this one to show you that we're going to reload. There you go. They're all gone on that barricade. So now I'll look back behind us and that's the next barricade there. So I have to take this one out now. I've got electric punch again I think on this one. So we're going to press triangle to stealth take down that guy. And that was the suit power that electrified him then. So that'll be recharging now. So this is a brute effectively, it's quite difficult to take him out. I am pressing my suit power here, it's there to use the electric punch but it's not activating. I think just before I take him down, it's quite difficult, he blocks me. Just before I take him down I activate it here. So I did try twice before but it just didn't do it. That's it, another prompt to do the third one now. So I force die again, just to show you it will load in at the third barricade now. So that first one's down. And so is the second one behind us. Although the police are still there, there's no one there. So the last one is straight in front of us there, around that corner. So this is the third one. My electric punch is ready to go. I activated it now. Suit power. It's arcing between them. The closer they stand, the better the arc runs between them. And it just seems to uh, remove their defences on a lot of them. If they've got defences, it seems to reduce the chance of them blocking your attacks. Just take this last guy out. And now you're prompted. There we go. He drops his petrol bombers. I punch him into the air. Take a little bit of the damage there. So when you die and come back, it does actually rebuild your suit power. Now getting the prompt that there's people on the roof sh shooting RPGs, and I did this a lot, this mission. This is a funny thing I noticed, that he doesn't actually kill them. I don't know if you've noticed there, that they, uh, they're webbed to the wall down there. So this guy's beating me on the back of the head, he got electrified there. And there's another one on the left hand side of him as well, so it goes to a certain level and then it sticks them to the wall. So this is the way I tried for ages to try and complete this mission. By going to this, this building here with three people on it. And I just couldn't get it done doing it this way. So by all means try and do it this way if you want to, but it didn't work for me. I've played it so many times it got so frustrating this mission. That's probably that's why you're at this watching this video because you found it frustrating as well. It is quite a long mission this one. Longer than it should have been really for what it is. So I got shot there. So then I go over to this second roof here. Electric punch is ready to use. Yeah, I got shot again. So just use triangle to web to the next guy. And now it gets to the cutscene. So they always go to the cutscene after taking out the people on two roofs. So what I found after playing this lots and lots of times was why not do the two roofs that have got the most people on? So obviously not the one with three down there that I just did. So first I would go to the one behind the police building. I'm going to jump to that in a minute. So the suit power I'm going to use is hollow decoy which is a new suit power I've acquired. So you have to buy the suit to be able to get the suit power, but you can put the suit power on any suit then. So the suit mods are gel padding, ballistic inserts, and charged outer mesh. I tend to stick with those three really. It's only the suit power I change in this mission. So let's get it ready to play through on the mission. So these are the skills I've got as well if you want to pause it and, and mirror mine. So spin cycle, wrecking ball, collateral damage, and then we've got pistol and baton yank, rifle shield and launcher yank, which is the one I use the most in this next mission. Yank and throw, so you can press and hold triangle, you yank it away from them and throw it back at them. And you can also rocket return. I wouldn't try and do that in this mission though because it's so much is going on. 
So combo booster. Vengeance. So dodge window, this is important in this mission. Last stand is another one that's important. Payback. So that is the most important one you must use in this mission, I would say. Press triangle. And then chain finisher, which isn't really of any use in this mission. So quick zip. Point launch boost. Long strike, which is invaluable in this mission. Air marshal. Air yank. And that's it. So let's go ahead and start the mission. So instead of going right, I go left. So if we swing once, hard and high and let off, we can actually drop straight onto the roof, the first roof we need to go for. I mean, you can do it any way you want, but after hundreds of replays of this mission, this is the way I found that was best. So triangle to take it, that RPG guy out first. Then press and hold triangle and that takes the weapon off them and throws it back at the person or someone near him who's about to shoot me so get him out of the way. I got shot from another building because they've got perfect aim here. So that I did a perfect dodge there and that triangle was the takedown that you get, a prompt for the takedown. So I would also run up further away onto the left side of that building just to stay away from the snipers shooting you. So now we're going onto the second roof. So they already know I'm there, so I can't stealth take anyone down. This guy's about to run towards me, and I use the RPG to knock him out. So triangle to get close to this guy to destroy him. I just keep pressing square to do as much damage as possible. And now the cutscene, so we took two of the biggest populated roofs off. So I'll break that, break that. So straight away I put my my suit skill up and that puts three extra Spider-Men that stops me taking any damage. So then I drop straight to the floor, which seems like they ignore you when you're on the ground. I don't know what's happening here. So this is the next building we need to take out, which has got three people on it. So let's run around to the back. and just find a clear space so you can run up the side of the building and then drop to crawl because you don't know where the, the Robocop guys are, the flying ones. So there's three guys to take out on this roof. And it takes the uh, flying one out first. But I avoid that rocket. We've got to knock this guy out here with the RPG because they're so dangerous. You get one hit from the RPG and and it takes a third of your health, so just be careful. Take the next guy out, take his weapon off him and beat him with it. And the same thing with this guy, beat him with his RPG. You don't get very long at all to react, you've got to be quick. You will play this mission quite a lot. I would definitely advise that you save this mission just before this start sequence as well. That's the safest place to do it because you'll find that you'll have to play this a lot of times. So there's two RPG guys on here. I take one off one and throw it at the other one. So the suit power's ready here, which isn't really important. I actually web the whole geezer on this one. So the flying geezers take a bit of damage there. So this is the important bit now. So this is why you need perfect dodge. For me, this is the, the easiest way to take these guys out. I took some damage there because I missed it. So we're coming up now, I've reduced the speed by 4 so you can see what's going on. So he shoots at me, I perfect dodge and fire a web at his head and that prompts a triangle. So I press triangle straight away, you don't get very long to react, less than a second. You press it and my suit electricity electrocutes the guy next to him with the blast. So I only took one of them out but both of them have been taken out. One with my suit power and one with my perfect dodge. So I don't think I could get that to do it a second time if I tried. This was the first time I completed the mission and it's in this video. Yuri, it's so here. difficult this, this mission. So we're just talking to Yuri there. Teach you to piss 
off international mercenaries. Guess so. Okay, I need to sign off for a bit. Call me if things go south. Will do. And thanks. You've given us a fighting chance. Okay. Need to hustle to Feast's sister site in Harlem and help May. Peter, thank God. We need you at the veterans. So into the fire, get to the veterans center. Are you okay? What's happening? So we're probably talking to MJ now. There's no time limit on this mission. It's a good job really because it's so difficult that you can just take your time and it doesn't it doesn't time out or anything like that. And definitely think about manually saving it as well. So what I'm going to do now is show you the normal way of taking this the first section out. This was the first mission on the left hand side but this is just taking them all out without doing any stealth kills which I would say is the harder of the two ways of doing it but if this is the way you want to do it and do it this way so you have to do this first part the same way let's just finish the last guy off it didn't hit him the rifle so let's take this first transformer out here this is the same part of the mission I played at the beginning of the video. So just keep shooting it until it blows up. And you must finish off this second one as it rotates around this building. So that wasn't enough time. He does shoot a rocket at you as well, so you have to dodge them. So you have to be down on this flat part of the roof. You can't auto-aim. will not lock on to that transponder. Transformer, sorry. Unless you're on this part of the roof. So let's wait for our bulletproof suit power to be ready again. There we go. It's ready now. Let's go ahead and do this second roof. You can do them whichever order you want, but this is the one that worked for me. So straight onto the roof first. So the brute comes around the corner here and he gets electrocuted by my suit. So that removes all his defences. So I can just keep kicking him and take him out. He's really easy to defeat when that happens, but he's quite difficult to defeat. And I would say, normally, and I would say do the stealth way is a better way. But it's up to you which way you want to do it. I've got the bulletproof suit activated now. So this is the last guy to take down. So this is Transformer number three. Let's just take this out. Number three down. Just waiting for my suit power to rebuild before I go to the next roof. I would, that's another tip. I would always let your suit power rebuild because why not? You, you know, it might take a couple of minutes to rebuild, but you'll definitely need it on the next roof. So just wait for it to rebuild. It's the simplest way. So we need to jump across to that next building now. And I would definitely go at it from the left side of the building. Just be aware there's probably five people on this roof as well and one of them's a sniper. So you can shoot it from there without getting shot. Obviously I, he got the bead on me then and tried to shoot me. Let's get the suit power activated. So that was the sniper I took down there. I yanked the sniper rifle off him. There we go. I took a bit of damage here. You don't really need to take the damage on this roof. Like I said, you can just take that out without even going down. Uh, throw something at that guy. Let's go and finish him off. That means one left. Triangle to web to him. So they're trying to shoot me from the street as well there. Let's take the fourth transformer out. Suit power's ready again. So we need to drop onto the road now because the fourth one's down at the road. So if you just drop straight to the floor you won't take any damage. The, the damage there came from someone shooting me as I was dropping at, at terminal velocity. I don't know, they're such good shots these lads. You shot three times on the way to the ground. Let's just take these guys out. I am using my bulletproof. Take the weapon off him and then air launch him. So that should be it now. Let's 
some number five. It drops straight to the cutscene now. Police are free, but demons are backing down. Need to lend a hand. Let's go ahead and show you the So we're showing you the suit power, we're swapping it to electric punch. That's what we're swapping to. And all the suit mods are the same. Like I showed in the main, in the first playthrough of this, that you can just walk up to them and they don't shoot you. So I'm just waiting for that guy to come towards the vehicle. And that seems to give a better spread of people that the electricity can arc between them and, and stop them from attacking you because you can die a, long, a lot of times in this section. You've seen this, how big those blasts are coming from these guys with the shields, so just avoid them. As you work your way towards them, the electricity starts to arc through them and it takes their defences away. And then just press circle to, uh, to dodge between their legs and come up behind them if you can't, if you're just bouncing off their shields. So I avoid that shot there just take this guy out by pressing and holding square and that just punches him into the air let's have a chat with Yuri Yuri, your men are safe what's next? get to the upper west side we're trying to shelter civilians but Rhino isn't making it easy he never does, on my way so now we, it's still not finished now so you still need to go over to the uh, help me. to the feast sister site in Harlem to finish the mission so we're talking to MJ. Are you okay? What's happening? The convicts started a fire. We got the building staff out, but May and Miles are trapped in So it's quite an easy bit, this last bit. There's a few cutscenes and no button prompts. Stay where you are, MJ. So, so that's it guys. So thanks for sticking with us all the way to the end. And if you want to watch the next bit you can do. Like I said, there's no button prompts. So we've got to go in there and, and save Aunt May and Miles. So just go to the roof. And it goes to a cutscene. There's no button prompts at all and uh, just make sure that you do this last bit to actually uh, for the game to auto save that you've completed this mission so that's it guys so thanks for watching and uh, check back soon peter fire and rescue's on the way i found a fire escape that'll get me mj stay back i don't want to have to rescue you too peter don't be crazy wait for help may may I got you. Hang on! Oh. Hey, man, you alright? Get to the window! <coughs> it's too far! Oh, hold on! Just brace yourselves! <coughs> Come on, you stupid piece of... Come on, May! I've got you! Oh my god! Go! Go! Miles! Come on! May okay. Everyone is safe. 
MJ. If it weren't for you and Miles, I would have been... As dead as I would have been the last eight and a half thousand times you saved me. Pretty sure I still owe you a few. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> hey. I'm sorry I screwed things up. It's just hard being the one who always gets saved, you know? Sometimes I want to do the saving. I'm sorry I made you feel like you couldn't. Still partners? Always. Huh? Hey, uh, so I didn't know if, uh, you wanted sparkling or, or flat or spring or mountain spring. So I got one of each. Am I interrupting? No, um, MJ, Ms. Watson, and I were just talking strategy. Strategy? That's right. The city is in danger. It needs our help. All of our help. All right, well, call the play, coach. Okay. Divide and conquer. Ms. Watson, we need an anti-serum for Devil's Breath. Oscorp's developing something, but there's no way they can keep it safe from Octavius and Lee. We need to find the cure and protect it. I'll chase down some leads. Miles, you need to be my eyes and ears at feast. Anything goes wrong, call me. We need to keep that place and the people there safe. All right, you got it. What are you gonna do? Gang of costume nut jobs is taking the city apart piece by piece. Time I return the favor. All right. All right. Hey, wait, um, how do I call you? I mean, do you have like a cell phone in your, in your po pockets or something? Ms. Watson can give you my number. Good luck, team. You have his number. Are you Spider-Man's girlfriend? That'd be so cool. If... Uh, come on, Sherlock. Show me what you got in this water mortgage board. The city feels a little more under control. Miles is watching Feast. MJ is tracking a Devil's Breath cure. Time for me to focus on finding Otto and stopping whatever he has planned. Yuri, we need to start tracking the big boys. Still no leads on Octavius? No, nothing. Forensics can't even do a sweep of Times Square. Everyone in that department but the intern is sick. I might be able to turn something up. Let you know what I find. <laughs> 